symbol of faith, hope and eternal salvation. This is the story of the Ganga. Millions of Hindu pilgrims visit this mighty river every year to quench their thirst for knowledge and liberation. Along the river, there are also many sites that are sacred in Buddhism and Jainism. A guaranteed ticket to heaven is said to be attained when the ashes of the deceased are scattered in this holy river. No wonder then that this holy river finds a special mention in the Indian National Anthem too. But despite the religious significance, the Ganga continues to be one of the most polluted rivers in Asia. One of the major problems is disease-causing fecal coliform bacteria, which makes its way from the human intestinal tract into the river via untreated urban sewage. That, in addition to ashes from burnt bodies and industrial waste, all make for a very toxic river. The Ganga is also home to freshwater dolphins and Ganges sharks, both of which are endangered species. Yes, we said dolphins and sharks. That said, all is not lost and numerous initiatives have been proposed for cleaning and rejuvenating the holy river. Sadly, none of them have seen any real success yet. It's my destiny to serve Ma Ganga, said Prime Minister Narendra Modi after winning the elections in 2014. Shortly afterwards, the Namami Gange project was announced by the government with a budget outlay of 20,000 crore to abate water pollution. Five years have passed since that eventful day and a lot has changed across the banks of the Ganga. From building crematoriums to developing sewer treatment plants, the Ganga is finally getting a makeover. What do you think about this? Comment and let us know your thoughts. Keep imbibing. We believe in you.